Hey, what's going on guys? What's happening? YouTube, you've tuned into Rules for Rebels. In today's video, we're going to be talking about TikTok making a push to become an e-commerce company. And uh, they look to be getting into the quote-unquote live shopping arena. Uh, so you guys may remember back in the, I want to say it was probably the spring or maybe the summer, uh, we had heard about TikTok venturing into the, the world of e-commerce, potentially opening up some warehouses, working on uh, a plan for you know some type of TikTok shopping platform. Um, and then that was going to be for the U.S. and Europe. We eventually heard that TikTok was kind of shelving that idea it wasn't coming along too well and it was looking to be kind of a failure so they just scrapped the idea uh, well on LinkedIn people have been noticing a lot more uh, job offerings for some type of TikTok e-commerce project going on I guess they're hiring a lot of people for warehouse and logistics positions and it looks like TikTok may push may be making a push to be the big quote-unquote live shopping service here in the US uh, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with live shopping you know I guess in previous generations before the internet uh, you had things like the home shopping network or QVC uh, where you know people would kind of show a product talk about a product pitch a product um, and then you know call 1-800-448-4972 and for just three easy payments of $17.95 you can be the owner of this blender right that's kind of the uh, the early days of, of quote-unquote live shopping but now with the advent of the internet and uh, you know furtherances of technology uh, rather than just a big production studio like QVC or the Home Shopping Network being able to do this, uh, you know, people like you and me who are running e-commerce businesses out of a small office, maybe the, even our bedroom, our basement, or our garage, uh, now have the ability to live stream in the same way that Home Shopping Network or QVC, you know, had 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. The big hurdle for this is, A, there's not really one centralized place where people can go to shop, right? Like maybe a one-off brand here, a one-off brand there uh, does live shopping, but you would have to visit their websites. You would have to find out that they do this independently. Um, and there's really, to date, hasn't been a great way to where people can like one-click uh, buy and check out, you know, right through a, a live stream video. Um, in Asia, this is huge. There's much better solutions uh, in China, Japan, various parts of Asia. And uh, you know, as somebody who attends a lot of like e-commerce uh, conferences and summits and things like that, I have seen some of these companies kind of moving over to the U.S. and kind of making a push uh, to provide their service in the in services in the U.S. But like, no one big player. Um, has kind of stepped up and become the leader in this space. Uh, I've checked out a couple of different of these solutions. I haven't been super impressed with any particular one of them. Um, and then another problem, most of these are integrations through Shopify since Shopify is kind of the, the go-to e-commerce platform these days. Uh, one of the problems is you do have to be on Shopify payments to use most of these services. Uh, so if you have your own payment processor through authorized.net or you're using PayPal or something else uh, and you're not using Shopify payments, you won't be able to utilize most of these services. That is changing a little bit. I actually have a call set up with uh, one of these companies tomorrow who says you don't need to be on Shopify payments. Uh, if it winds up seeming like a cool service, I'll, I'll make a video and tell you guys a little bit more about it. Uh, but it's kind of interesting. You know, TikTok started off as kind of a goofy, you know, teen uh you know, duet singing kind of platform, you know, mimic this dance, sing this song, here's a challenge, eat a Tide Pod, uh, you know, walk on milk crates, uh, kind of a goofy site, mainly first and foremost, a, a content platform. And, uh, you know, I think TikTok, if they pull this off and do it right, could have a chance to actually be uh, a big player in not only in the live shopping space, but in essentially bringing live shopping to the U.S. So let's hop into this article from Search Engine Journal. The article is titled TikTok Planning on Opening uh, Warehouses in the U.S. A strategic move to purchase warehouses indicates social media platform TikTok is moving into e-commerce as a revenue stream. More than a dozen recent LinkedIn job posts suggest that social media platform TikTok is getting into the warehouse and logistics business. According to the listings, which were first notified by Axios, the Chinese-owned company is reportedly looking, looking into building a global fulfillment center and seeking employees for locations in both Seattle and Los Angeles. The e-commerce industry has seen tremendous growth in recent years and has become a hotly contested space amongst leading internet companies and its future growth cannot be underestimated, TikTok said in a job posting. 
With millions of users globally, we believe TikTok is an ideal platform to deliver brand new and better e-commerce experience to our users. According to the postings, the short form video sharing platform is seeking to provide warehousing and delivery and return services for merchants. They will also include customs clearing and supply chain systems. These hirings appear to indicate the company is in the process of developing e-commerce as a new way to generate money, joining its already impressive advertising revenue, which is expected to keep growing at an exponential rate. TikTok committed to e-commerce and live shopping. In August 2021, TikTok developed a partnership with Shopify that allowed merchants to connect their Shopify storefronts with the social media platform. This was intended to help retailers promote their brands and sell their products by using the organic discovery and shopping tabs. The platform has also ventured into live shopping, a phenomenon incredibly popular in China and other Asian countries, but slower to catch on in the rest of the world. Reports over summer claimed TikTok was abandoning its live shopping plans for the U.S. and Europe after it struggled to gain a foothold, but more recent reports indicate the live shopping initiative is still back on. On October 1st, the Financial Times reported the social media company is headed for a partnership with Talk Shop Live to launch its live shopping platform. Uh, Talk Shop Live is actually a platform I had looked into a while back. However, one of the downsides uh, was you would have you would need to, to use Shopify payments uh, in order to be able to use their live streaming or live selling app. Details have reportedly not been finalized and no contracts have been signed, but this would allow TikTok to outsource its live shopping operations. This partnership could allow TikTok to leverage TalkShop Live's technology to provide content creators with the ability to host live shopping sessions while broadcasting their own live streams. Though joining the e-commerce market has been slow, Slow moving into North America, the social media platform already has a successful blueprint that has been proven in Southeast Asia and other regions. TikTok warehouses could challenge Amazon. With more than 1 billion active monthly users, TikTok is a powerful online player. By creating its own e-commerce supply, supply chain system, it could pose a serious threat to Amazon's hegemony, uh, which has long dominated online shopping. By providing warehousing, delivery, and customer service returns, our mission is to help sellers improve their operational capability and efficiency, provide buyers a satisfying shopping experience, and ensure fast and sustainable growth of TikTok shop, the social media company wrote in a job listing. So um, I just happened to see another article. I saw TikTok's doing something with, uh, they're going to try to kind of compete with Amazon and do photos in addition to videos. Um you know, everyone's kind of stealing everyone else's ideas as opposed to staying in their own lanes. Uh, but it does seem to be working out. You know, uh, TikTok kind of created the the short form video. Then Instagram came out with Reels, and YouTube came out with YouTube Shorts. Um, you know, at first I kind of critiqued this as, ah, you know, just stay in your lane. Why are you trying to be something else? Why are you trying to be this other platform? Uh, but it seems that kind of all of these formats of short video have kind of taken off. So maybe they were were right with that decision. Uh, but I saw TikTok is kind of doing a new thing with. Uh, I'm getting kind of off topic here. TikTok is doing a new thing with photos. So basically there's going to be one tab for videos, one tab for photos, and the photo tab is going to be more like sharing a photo on, uh, on Instagram. Um, is TikTok making the right decision, making this big push in e- e-commerce? Are they venturing too far away from what they are, a content creation platform? Um, or could they be the next big e-commerce company if they're su- successfully able to bring you know, the whole live shopping experience to the U.S. and U.S. shoppers? Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. If you guys have any, uh, any insights into this story that I'm missing, feel free to drop a comment down below. Um, do you guys have any experience with live shopping? Maybe you live in China or Asia. Maybe you've lived there. Um, or maybe you know you're using one of the live shopping uh, apps out there for your own brand or your own store. Uh, if you guys have anything to add, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later, guys.